Welcome back everybody, my name is Legit Lee and we're back with another how-to video. This video today is going to be about turning a T-slot aluminum excursion to a V-slot. So, the reason why I'm doing this is because I've been building and designing CNC machines and 3D printers for the last few years and I actually have been really well good at it. So, um, soon I'll probably come out with a video about price comparison parts and stuff like that to kind of help out the average person. I'm a very big DIY guy. So if you guys are into building anything whatsoever, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell whenever a video does come available for you. Um, so today I want to turn a T-slot into a V-slot because of the fact that I have a lot of these V-wheels. V-wheels are actually used for most common 3D printers and laser engravers now. Um, so any of the CR10s or Crowdy, like Ender 3, they use these V V wheels on their Z and their Y, uh, well, Z, Y, and X axis. So you have up and down, they glide on the edges like so. Let me show you real quick. Up and down like this. They just roll right in the center. So the reason why you would do this is because V-slot wheels, if you're building a frame from scratch, they are a lot more expensive than a T-slot would be. And that's because they put a little more effort into it to make it a V-slot. But if you're trying to save a few dollars and you find a good uh, eBay seller like me, I found an eBay seller that was selling a 100 millimeter long T-slot 20 by 40 aluminum excursions for like $160-ish. And that was 10 of them. Per package so that was enough to build any kind of design that I want so uh, right now these are just some prototypes that I had lying around these are not even from the package I did cut some of the package up but that's gonna be another video for what I'm designing so like I said stay tuned for those subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can find out what I'm making next but today is a how-to video so um, two things one um, you don't need to have a vise, but it will help if you have one. And you're going to need a router. Now, I picked this up from Harbor Freights. It is a Drillmaster router, and it is pretty cheap. It was only $30 brand new, and I bought a set of bits, which was five, uh, five of them for like 8 bucks. And the one that you really need to have is this V-slot wheel here this V bit. So if you guys can see that, it cuts downward into a V shape. So you're going to be looking like this when it cuts down. And um, what is, I actually designed this attachment for this router and blender. And uh, we'll have the file on Thingiverse once I upload this video for anybody to check it out. So definitely look into the description for that link. And um, what it does, it allows me to put this inside of the T-slots aluminum excursion guide and allows me to go up and down without any issues whatsoever and I won't have to worry about not being balanced or centered. So this was simple to make. I would say it probably took about, I don't know, two or four hours, five hours tops to print this bad boy out. And it's pretty star, uh, sturdy. I'm only printing it in PLA. I did try in ABS, but I was having issues with shrinking and stuff. So I would recommend if you're going to do it, you can do it in PLA if you want or ABS, whichever one you prefer. Any filament which should work. But um, you got to think about the shrinkage whenever it cools down because the parts can shrink. And then you're going to be kind of stuck trying to move it around when you can't move it. And you need to make sure that it moves smoothly without any issues. So... To reiterate, you don't really need this, but it would help. But you can just hold it down and just glide over it and then hold the other side and go, go the rest of the way. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out for you. But first, let's just show you the reason. So V wheel, V T slot, they don't mix at all. So if you want them to do right, I already cut this side so you guys can see it fits perfectly and no play it's stuck in there this side not so well so we're gonna go ahead and get this side done so you guys can see i'm gonna try to do this kind of quick so you don't make this video too long and 
boring for you. So I want you guys to stay entertained and keep up with me here. So I'm going to do right about here, lock it into place. And if you're worried about the sides, if you guys get like a towel or something, you can obviously keep it from doing anything. Or even some wood would help, probably. I'm just not worried about it because these are just left over from another machine that I took apart that I don't really use. I just have them. If I need them, I'll probably still use them for something, like a frame or something, but I'm not really worried about it. Anyway, thanks to my design, you're able to slide this on before you get it on here. It won't have to worry about hitting that V bit. So we're just going to slide this on right here. If I can get it on there, you guys are looking good, yeah? Okay, so we'll put this on. And then you're gonna wanna make sure you go really slow when you start out because it's going to wanna jump. And that's a problem because obviously it's gonna jump a little bit cutting into the bit first, but once that, once that happens, it, it smooths itself out. So it's only at the beginning stage. There you have it guys we got that side now what i do is i turn it around to the other side too because it seems like it cuts this part down more than the other side so to keep everything even what i do is go the other route and cut this side as well you wouldn't think it would matter but it kind of matters so I gotta say guys it's not too shabby i mean we are roughing it here so it's not gonna be as well as machined from a cnc machine from some other company that manufactures these but it works so you can see that it actually is really nice uh flush cut i don't really see any like weird um markings too bad like it really does well for like a long stretched out part um, sometimes you may see like a little roughness, but it's not too bad. And uh, now that we have that, you guys can see that it runs just fine along inside of the slot. So now we have a complete V slot made without any issues and we can like just let it kind of roll down. Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> But yeah, it works, guys, and there's no problem with it whatsoever. Now I have two perfectly V-slotted. You can even do the inside of here, but I don't have an attachment that allows me to do the inside of the 20x20. 20 20. Not yet. I may make one where it can slide on here, do one side, then you flip it over, do the other side, that type of stuff. But at the moment, I don't have that design yet. So... But well, you can do the inners of a 20 by 20, like a full 20 by 20, or the outer of a 20 by, obviously, 40. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I do have a Facebook group for my blender um, information and designs for real life. So if you guys want to design anything in blender and you make it into real life, you want to post some videos, some comments, some pictures, anything like that, definitely consider joining the group is called blender irl for in real life and uh, that link will be inside of my youtube channel's description information as well if you just click on the channel you'll see that uh, youtube facebook group there as well anyway um, i hope you guys like the video uh, hit that notification bell for any new videos that will be popping up in the nearby future 
I appreciate all the support, guys. You've been great. My name is Legit Lee, and I'm signing out.